Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? Me? I'm feeling a tad violated, if the truth be known. Yes, indeed. My name has appeared, or my email address has appeared in several of the hacked websites that have been hacked recently and not so recently. And I discovered this fact and, well, as you can imagine, not that impressed. So today I thought you and I should have a wee conversation again about security, protecting your identity, protecting your username, protecting your password online. So today on Dotto Tech, I have a question. Have you been pwned? Once again, we step into the murky waters of online and internet security. You know, if it wasn't for this topic, this channel would be about half the size. <laughs> now, here's the thing about online security and safety is it is a fantasy. Once you share your name with the very first website that you share it with, your sense of security is or should be gone. Uh, online security is about as real as unicorns or honest politicians. It just doesn't happen because as soon as you sign up for any online service, create a username, password, add that, and you start sharing some personal information into that profile, that site is under constant attack. Hackers are trying to get into each and every site all of the time, and occasionally they get through. Now, hopefully, we have to trust that the companies who we entrust our information to are doing the proper job of siloing the information. So usernames and passwords and personal information are all in different locations so they can't be meshed together so that people can't get a complete profile. They might be able to get your email address, they might be able to get your password, but they can't put the two together. You understand exactly what we're saying because as soon as they can put two things together, we are in trouble. So we have to take on responsibility because they're being attacked constantly we have to take on responsibility for making sure that we're changing up our username, changing our password, not reusing passwords, and protecting our privacy by signing up for services that we trust and paying attention to what's happening with those services. Now, regardless of how careful you are, though, there are times that your security is going to be compromised. And often that happens in a vacuum. We never, we don't know. That's because uh, we don't, uh, we basically aren't informed other than in the news. All of a sudden we hear about a hack on some service. At that point there, we can go in and we can take a look and see if our name happened to be one of the one of the names that was compromised. Uh, but fortunately, there's a service that will actually help us to know if our information has been compromised. It's got the interesting title, Have I Been Pwned? Now, the term pwned might be new to you. It's probably not new to you if you're a gainer, gamer. It's actually, if the Urban Dictionary tells us the word pwned is a corruption of the word owned, it originated in an online game Warcraft where a designer misspelled owned and when the computer beat a player, it was supposed to say you have been owned, but it says has been pwned. And so it became a life of its own. Now, I don't quite see the connection between being pwned or being defeated in a game and having my e email address shared with the world in some hack. But I do feel in some ways that somebody has owned me if they do get this information. Now, this site is, 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 is quite interesting. You can go and you read about it. And I encourage you to do it. Uh, they uh, Basically, it's, it's created by uh, an executive at Microsoft who uh, just basically wanted to have a single place where people could go to to, first of all, see exactly which of the major hacks their information has been released in and also perhaps create some sort of an alert system so that you know immediately if your information has been compromised and what they call pasted or shared out to the general population. So you can go there and I encourage everybody to do this and take all of your email addresses, type them into the search engine here, and I've got bad news for Steve. Uh, my main email address, which I use for everything because you know I sign up for so much. Uh, I go and ask, has it been pwned? Oh no, it's been pwned. <laughs> Five breaches of security have been found uh, with my uh, with uh, where my email address was compromised. Adobe's one back in 2013, Dropbox one, which uh, it was in 2012. Uh, 2016, a LinkedIn one, which uh, happened fairly recently. A <laughs> MySpace one, shh, MySpace. <laughs> It happened, and a really upsetting one to me, which was Patreon, which affected us quite profoundly uh, as well. So those are the times that my email address has been pwned. Now, what do I do about this? Well, there's a lot of com conversation about what one should be doing about this. We have offered you recommendations in the past. One is we've offered you uh, a description of LastPass. 
one password and Dashlane. We've done demos on all three of the major of uh, the major password managers, which I think all work exceptionally well, uh, allowing us to change our passwords, create incredibly cryptic passwords. Because remember, uh, that if you use the same password in multiple sites and you do get hacked, then of course people have the ability to test that in multiple sites. So just having your username is only the beginning, or your email address is only beginning. The uh, multiple passwords is going to protect you far more. Uh, far more uh, robustly than if you just have a single password. Another thing we do is we use two-factor authentication on most of the accounts that will support that, which again adds an extra level of security if somebody does happen to get your information trying to get into your account. And the one that has to be most secure at all times is your email because if you think about the process if somebody says puts in an email address for you and say I've lost the password and they can get into your email the password for all those sites are often sent to that trusted email address and so that could be a gateway into your entire life so protecting your email through two-factor authentication is something that we should all be doing. So I wanted to make sure that you were thinking along the lines of protecting yourself once again. I hope that you found today's video to be slightly disturbing and useful. Now, there's three ways for you to stay in touch with us here on Dotto Tech. The first is please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Secondly, is subscribe to our newsletter. That way I can tell you about all of my upcoming events, tutorials, seminars, and courses. And finally, Dotto Tech is a community-funded channel supported through the generosity of you folks at the crowdfunding site Patreon. I encourage you to drop by our page, take a look, and discover exactly what perks and benefits are included in supporting Dotto Tech and those benefits be awesome. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.